I've always appreciated and look forward to Memorial Day weekend. As a little boy, it meant the end of a school year in New York City. It meant packing up the car, heading to my parents' second home in the Poconos for a full and delightful summer of softball, fishing, hiking, sailing, and fun that lasted until the very last hours of Labor Day. Since moving to Ohio, Memorial Day has meant participating in the parade in Hudson. My first memory of that parade was riding with John Crum, the mayor at the time, and a very dear friend, in a red convertible near the head of the parade. I was offering the invocation at the memorial service that year, and as the car turned from Route 303 onto 91 North, there was a roar of the crowd for the mayor. And John looked over at me and he said, Blow kisses, Brian! Blow kisses! I was in full clerical collar at the time, and the image of a priest blowing kisses to the crowd seemed somewhat inappropriate. But I loved watching that dear man shower his constituents with affection and grace, and the mutual love they shared with him. The Memorial Day parade in Hudson for the last 12 years has been about marching with the high school band and having one last opportunity to be with graduating seniors. There's a real joy of a marching band leading a parade and how it makes people swell with pride. The swing band plays a medley of tunes representing each branch of the armed forces and it never fails to inspire. I will cherish, and I'll actually miss today, walking along the street and seeing the veterans standing at attention, saluting as we march by. Some of those guys and gals are in their 80s and 90s, but they stand nevertheless. I always take a moment to stop and say thank you to as many of those veterans as I can. Many of them were part of the greatest generation. Some of them fought in Korea and Vietnam, some in the Gulf Wars or Afghanistan. It really doesn't matter where they served, for they protected our freedoms and made it possible for us to continue to enjoy our liberties. And some of them made the ultimate sacrifice by laying down their lives for us, which we remember over the weekend. On Friday afternoon last week, I was part of a conference call for work with the subject centering on leadership. Simon Sinek was the presenter, and he told a story about marine training at Paris Island in South Carolina. When the new recruits arrive at camp, they're greeted by their drill instructor, who apparently gets right in each recruit's face and states, I, me, my, are no longer in your vocabulary. They will be replaced by we, together, and us. The Marines are taught from the very first day of training, that success does not come by yourself. Which reminded me of that wonderful old African proverb. To go fast, go alone. To go far, go together. When I listened to the story about the recruits, I thought about the current issues facing our nation and the world. We must try and rid our vocabulary of I, me, and my when it comes to fighting this evil coronavirus. We must reclaim and renew our commitments to words like we, together, and us, as we find mutual ways to support those who have lost jobs, are struggling to stay afloat, not to mention those who have died and are grieving. One last thought about Memorial Day. When the Marines are ready to graduate from basic training, they participate in what is called the crucible. They're out for 56 hours. They're allowed only three meals and only eight hours of sleep during that time. They're exhausted. They're tired at the end of their trial and they're working diligently. They work in teams of four known as a fire squad, dragging themselves over obstacles and under barbed wire with shots flying over their heads. Apparently, it's truly something to experience. And one of the four gets tired and starts falling back. But they have to achieve the mission. So what do they do? They stop. They go back. And they bring the fourth Marine with them. Better to go slow with four than faster with three. 
To go fast, go alone. To go far, let's go together. On this Memorial Day weekend, we pause to remember all those who have served our country and made the ultimate sacrifice. In addition, may we learn from the Marines about going together through trials and tribulations. Be safe and be well. I look forward to being with you again on Wednesday. <laughs>